if Terrence Crawford can't get Canelo, I'm not sure if he fights bo uh, Boots anyway. Don't you put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby. Don't you put that on us. Because, and I'm not saying from a scare standpoint, you know, a lot of people, a lot of people are just ridiculous, man. If you think Bud is scared of anybody at this point in his career, I think that you're just irrational, illogical, and emotional. <laughs> If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG. I'm praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. Check this out, man. So we got some information coming from Eddie Hearn. You know what I'm saying? The Edster. You know, he <laughs> he has said that he wants to uh, Terrence Crawford, Terrence Bud Crawford, to challenge um, uh, Jerome Boots Ennis next. You know, Jerome Boots Ennis recently signed with uh, Eddie Hearn in Matchroom, and he had his first fight, which was successful. Um, his first fight with Matchroom against David Avenesian. You know, he, he got he dispatched of him in a, in um in, in five rounds. You know, what I'm saying going into the sixth round, he didn't come off his stool. Now, um, so with that being said, you know, Terence Bud Crawford is facing Israel Madrimov, another Eddie Hearn fighter. You know, Terence Crawford has been going crazy on Eddie Hearn, man. You know, what I'm saying he, he's um I believe he's three and zero against Matchroom and looking to be four and zero against Israel Madrimov. This um. <laughs> this weekend and not only that this man Eddie Hearn and Terrence Crawford had a funny back and forth had some banter and then Eddie Hearn challenged him to a darts game and guess what happened Terrence Crawford beat him in that too oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. Ah. Oh. boy ain't no fucking way boy boy ain't no way boy boy ain't no way boy Successful in his professional darts debut, Triple Terrence. I do feel like I've let myself down, my country. That I've let this guy, you know, from Omaha, Nebraska, <laughs> walks in and beat me at a British game. Like, come on, man. I know it, bro. I know if, you, if, if, you, if you're British, man, you have to be so ashamed. You know, Eddie Hearn let down all the British fans, all the Brits. You Not only did you lose in a darts game, your specialty, you made the challenge and you lost to an American in darts. Nah, bro. Come on, dog. Eddie Hearn, you got to do better, bro. But nah, that video is funny. Go check it out if you haven't checked it out already. You know, it just shows the personality of them both, man. I rock with Eddie Hearn as a promoter. But um, this is um not surprising that he wants Jerron Boots and to fight uh, 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 Bud. But I think... In my personal opinion, it kind of shows a lack of confidence in Israel Madrimov. You know what I'm saying? If you're already looking ahead for someone else to fight, for, 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 for Bud to fight somebody else. Now, I will say this, though. This is Bud's debut at 154. So if he loses to Israel Madrimov, which I think he'll win, but I think it's going to be a good fight. I think people are underestimating Israel Madrimov. But if he does lose in the event that he loses, you know. It's okay because this is a debut at 154, so he could still go back down and at 147 to fight Jerron Boots in it. So if you look at it that way, then I, I would still be interested in the fight, regardless if Darren Bud Crawford wins or loses. Now, but I will say the caveat with that is though, you know, I think that Boots um Finding Terrence Crawford, you know, of course, Terrence Crawford has been trying to trying to solidify his bid for Canelo because he's been very adamant, very open, very vocal about uh, his pursuit of a big money fight, you know, and he wants that with Canelo, um, but he will have to move up to 168, you know what I'm saying, that's, that's a lot of weight classes he'll be jumping, but his, his bid at 154 is to help solidify and strengthen that 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 call out for Canelo, you know, his, his ability to get Canelo, so it would, it would demonstrate that he's able to successfully fight um, at a higher weight division, you know, so um, if he's still going to pursue Canelo, let's say that he can get Canelo um, with, with the help of Big Turkey Alashik, maybe Canelo um, um, uh, refuses his request, which I wouldn't blame him because I don't think that there's anything to gain if you're Canelo, you know, Can I want to see the fight, him and Terrence Crawford, but if Canelo wins, they're just going to say that Terrence Crawford's a smaller guy, you know, so, and if he loses, the people that call him a fraud are going to call him an even bigger fraud for losing to a smaller guy. So outside of the uh, the, the money, you know, if, if he doesn't get an exorbitant fee or a lucrative deal, then I don't blame him for not fighting Terrence Crawford. Look at you scared now, you hoe, scared like a little white pussy. Um, uh, he has nothing to, to nothing to gain, really, uh, uh, or limited stuff stuff to gain. You know, this is a lose lose uh, situation, in my, in my opinion, uh, for for Canelo, unless the money is 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 a great amount. You know, and I think though, but with that being said, if Terrence Crawford can't get Canelo, I'm not sure if he fights bo uh, Boots anyway. Because, and I'm not saying from a scare standpoint. You know, a lot of people are, a lot of people are just ridiculous, man. If you think Bud is scared of anybody at this point in his career, I think that you're just irrational, illogical, and emotional. <laughs> 
you know, I think, but I do think that, um, you know, Terrence Crawford, you know, he, if, if you pay attention to boxing, remember, he was about to fight Tim Zhu. Why? Because Tim Zhu was a champion at 154. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He was about to fight Fundora. Why? Because Fundora was another champion at 154. Yeah. You know, and now he's fighting Israel Majumov. Why? Because once again, he's a champion at 154. Yeah. So what, the point that I'm making here, you see the trend? I would ex fully expect him, even if he can't get to get Canelo, he would try to unify or attempt to go for another undisputed at a third weight division at 154, you know, whether he tries to fight the winner of Fandora and Spence, or maybe try to fight, um, uh, try to fight the, um, even, uh, what's the other champion? Um, Bakram. I, I know I'm probably gonna, gonna butcher his name. I apologize, but you know who I'm talking about. Bakram Martali, is, I believe is how you pronounce his name. So I would expect him to go to try to fight him. You know, Sebastian Fedora has two belts already. Um, so he could, he could unify and get three belts if he beats Fedora. Sorry. The winner of Fedora and Spence, but Fedora is currently a champion with two belts. So we don't know who's gonna win between Fedora and Spence yet. Um, I think Spence is gonna win, but we'll see. Um, even if Spence or Fedora wins, the winner of that fight will have two belts. 154 and then so he could try to fight them and get three and then go for Bakram or Tarliev and, and get undisputed if in the scenario that Canelo doesn't want to fight him so I just don't see where he would fight Boots or where it makes sense for his pursuit of legacy now do I want to see Bud versus Boots of course I want to see Bud versus Boots that's a that's a great fight however you know I think that Boots has to bring something to the table, you know, besides just a challenge. And I don't think he does in his current position. You know, he's a champion at 147. Maybe if he moves up to 154 and, and, and fights uh, Bakram and, and beats him, maybe maybe the fight make more sense. And then, you know, there, there'll be no avoiding it then unless he gets Canelo. So y'all let me know what y'all think about that, man. What y'all think about um, Jerron Boots, Ennis, and Bud? Do you think that fight will actually come into fruition? Or you just think that's like a, that's, that's a, that's a long dream, you know, that's a, that's a long shot and a dream that we won't get. Uh, or... Uh, and also, let me know who you think would win um, if that fight does happen, you know, Bud or Boots. And then lastly, let me know what y'all think about Eddie Hearn losing a, losing a dark game to an American, Terrence Crawford. When you start hearing people like that say things like that, that gives me a fucking hard on. <laughs> So I think with him losing me personally, I think it's an embarrassment, but I love it, man. I, I love it, man. Uh, shout out to Terrence Bud Crawford, shout out to Eddie Hearn. But also, I do think that this is indicative of, you know, of a pattern, man. Eddie Hearn just can't beat Terrence Crawford in any capacity, whether it's him directly or indirectly through his fighters, man. And I think Israel Majumov has just solidified his fate, man. Shout out to Israel Majumov. He's a beast. He's athletic. And I think people are, 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 are um, are underappreciating his skill and, 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 um, and underestimating him in this in this regard but i still think terrence crawford's gonna win and i think this is indicative of if bud fights boots bud gonna beat boots too because historically <laughs> terrence crawford can't lose the match room man in any capacity man but that's it for the doctor man y'all be easy take care of yourselves remember with god we can do anything without god we have nothing the doctor's out peace from the hood to college both worlds they had to meet six degrees between us so cold we're about to freeze but we're florida boys hot takes we bring the heat we're moving the culture the engineers to the streets <laughs>